Hello everyone, welcome to Four Horns Farm in the Kitchen. So in response to our quarantine, our, um, you know, we have to stay home from work and school and such, um, and I'm not feeling sick, my kids aren't feeling sick, although I did feel a little bit sinusy the other day, I was like, you know what? Make some fire cider. I did not have all the ingredients, so this is what I did. I actually went and I, I had some ginger, the turmeric, I'm sorry, the horseradish here, went to the store and got that, garlic, um, the turmeric, I, we grew that here. I got half of a, a large onion, here's the other half I'll use for something else. And um, I have a funnel, and that's to help me fill up this ball jar. And I have my food processor right here. So. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I have my food processor going and I think I'll put in my horseradish first. That was pretty noisy. All right, so I was trying to figure out how to do this and not have it be so, 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 so noisy. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna chop it and then I'll bring you back and show you all the stuff all chopped up. All right, just adding the horseradish. And um, there are actually a lot of recipes on YouTube um, for fire cider. They also call it master tonic. And um, just heard that it has lots of good healthy properties. So, all right, there's the horseradish in the very bottom of the jar. So I'm gonna keep adding more. Okay, so I just did the turmeric and the ginger. So let's add that. So another option I could have done was to blend it all, like shred it or um, grate it. But I wanted to keep the pieces kind of in larger chunks. That way it would be easier to strain especially with this turmeric. Turmeric tends to stain. See, look at my fingers. And uh, I don't want all of my, everything that I own that strains to be stained. Okay, and this is now another layer, the horseradish at the bottom and the garlic, I'm sorry, and the ginger and turmeric right here. All right, there's my garlic all chopped up in there. Let's go ahead and put that in. I wasn't sure what size jar to use. I have a half gallon jar here. And I have a 33 ounce bottle of apple cider vinegar. I already had this bottle in the house, so I guess normally I'd go out and get some brags. Um, but use what you have, I mean. Rag is not exactly the least expensive thing in the store, so if you use what you have, help keep your family healthy. And I already know somebody in my family is not gonna wanna try this. You willing to try it, Nessa? Um, if you're sick. That's true, I love garlic. And onions. <laughs> the onion is next, speaking of onion. <laughs> okay, and the last bit is the onion. And then the seasonings. Let's put that in. There we 
go. Yeah, I don't have the blade in the bottom in case you're wondering why I'm just plunging my hand down in there. No blade in the bottom. Onions are so juicy. Made a lot of water. All right, let me just continue with that and I'll get right back to you. Plate's dirty. No. All right, so since I don't have cinnamon sticks, I'm gonna go in with some cinnamon powder and I know that's probably gonna make it a little slimy, but it does have the mother in it, so it already kinda of has stuff in it. Um, I don't have jalapeno, so I'm gonna go in with this um, red uh, pepper, red crushed pepper. And, oops. This stuff is really spicy to me. I don't like a lot of spicy food, so. That's good. And what else? Some black peppercorns. I actually should make it pretty too. All right. And last but not least, the apple cider vinegar. Remember to give it a good shake. Get all the sediment off the bottom. And just let's see if it fills up the jar. Oh wait, it has one of, look at the top on that. Yeah, it doesn't want to come out. It wants to come out like salad dressing. Hold on a second, let me take that off. All right, so I was trying to get this little bit out, but it I ended up just pushing it in. So let's just go ahead and pour. Glad I used a half gallon jar instead of the quart. Because even though it's not all the way to the top, this would have overflowed in the other jar. All right, so then I, from what I learned, you let it sit for about a month. And then you strain it off. And so that's how to get it started. So I'm just gonna put my top on here. That's it. See you back in a month. Say bye. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching part one of our fire cider or master tonic. Have a great one. Remember, just grow something, then eat it. Bye. <laughs>